So I heard you want to farm Bay of Drowned Wishes? Let me Today's exotic armor is chest. I have builds I recommend each class run in the description. Let's hop right into it. All right, you guys are in for something special today with this gameplay. Now, the first thing we're gonna do is we have to clear out these ads. So we're gonna go invisible and we're gonna break that invisibility instantly because what that does is with Gurf Falcon's Hauberk, that gives us volatile rounds. Now, when we kill an enemy with our volatile rounds, they will create those void breaches. Picking up the void breaches gives us devour and overshield on top of that, our weapon is actually Repulsor Brace, so defeating any volatile enemies regardless of picking up the Void Breach will also give us Overshield. Now you see how fast we absolutely melted that Unstoppable Champion with the combination of stunning it with our Hand Cannon and Deterministic Chaos. Deterministic Chaos is a great secondary method of proccing our whole build here because what it does is it weakens enemies after 4 shots and I believe after the 16th shot it goes ahead and makes them volatile. So guys we're just going to clear out these Screebs. There's going to be several ways of these Screebs and there's going to be another Unstoppable Champion. Now we're going to go and Viz because the unstoppable champion is no longer stunned we're gonna stun him again and do some damage go back to the screeps go back to the unstoppable and you see we literally guys with this build we literally have infinite void buffs okay over shield devour invis and volatile rounds absolutely disgusting stuff now at this point in time we're gonna try to finish off the unstoppable there we go and at that point we do get the proximity ward to guarantee the finisher now after you take care of that second unstoppable there's going to be a sniper that spawns in the back of the map, so what I like to do is I like to run up on him and just absolutely melt him, because if you don't, guys, he's going to give you some trouble when you're trying to deal with this Overload Champion. Now, a few things to keep in mind. You guys are going to want to pay attention to where all those Screeps were spawning, because if they catch you by surprise, they will absolutely melt you, and you're going to get super annoyed and frustrated, so just be careful, guys. Like, <laughs> as you can see, they, <laughs> ads just love to sneak up on you in this Lost Sector, and there's also these little slow effects, you know, you see what I'm talking about. Th those are super annoying. So, and you just saw, they these are scorn enemies. You guys are also going to want some void resist mods on your chest plate because those grenades will absolutely melt you. And they have a really high hitbox. Like, it reaches, like, vertically. It's very, very tall, so you can't even jump over it. So, we're just melting down this overload champion. And then after we do that, there's going to be two more waves of Screep. Actually, three and another unstoppable champion and then we can proceed to the boss room but i just want to highlight how damn powerful this build is guys like this season okay there is a stronger hunter build this season with arc my arc hunter build with shinobu's vow absolutely disgusting stuff but the thing about this build is it doesn't require any artifact mods to be good it will always be a strong build it's even stronger this season because there are some void artifact mods with the breaches but it it's it's just a universal build it was good even before lightfall and it only got better with echo of cessation so at this point in time you see there's multiple ways of scream We're gonna throw our grenades gonna do whatever to take care of them they die really really fast and then we just have to deal with this unstoppable champion and then we can proceed to the boss room so we're just gonna absolutely melt him with our deterministic chaos unfortunately it wasn't actually reloaded so we are gonna use our trace go invis and stun him again, probably go ahead and reload our Determinist to Chaos, but we already did that with our Marksman Dodge. See, I didn't even notice that, but we <laughs> we were aware at the time. So after we take care of him, we are going to proceed forward into the boss room, which is going to be really, really easy, guys. You're going to see, honestly, this is a mid-tier lost sector. It's not the best, but it's not the worst by any means. You can get some good farms. I do really recommend any of my arc builds i have an arc titan arc warlock or arc hunter build that will give you much much faster clears but this is the gameplay that we have for you guys today i really love this build as well but i'm just being honest my arc builds are much stronger because of the artifact mods the artifact mods this season are absolutely broken so as you can see ads are gonna jump on top so you're gonna want to clear out those guys as fast as possible they are throwing those grenades at you so you do you guys i already told you you need that void resist and if you take too long dealing with the Overload Champion, it will actually proceed to the back of the map. But you guys can run over there very easily because there's not going to be any adds that actually spawn until this Overload Champion is dead. So we're going to absolutely melt him with our Deterministic Chaos and go back to the Trace Rifle to restun him and then finish him off again with the Deterministic Chaos. That's going to be really easy stuff. Now you see how low we are because I don't even believe I had Void Resist at the time. So it's no joke guys. I'm not saying that for no reason. You're definitely going to need it. Unfortunately the boss did regenerate a little bit of health but we have our Deterministic Chaos completely reloaded so we're just going to go ahead and finish off the Overload here and what's going to happen is there's going to be another wave of adds. After we take care of this wave of adds 
then the boss is actually going to spawn with another wave of adds, and we can just absolutely melt the boss with our super and our deterministic chaos combines. Now, unfortunately, the one downside to this build is ammo economy. As you can see, at this point in time, we do not have much ammo at all, and our hand cannon is obviously not going to be <laughs> clearing out this lost sector very easily, but thankfully, we did get some special on the left side. I didn't see it at the time, but I see it right now. So we'll find that special momentarily, and we will use that to defeat... The lost sector now at this point in time the boss is spawning in so we're gonna clear out some ads just to give us an easier time dealing with them and we're gonna start melting down the boss with our super and we just got some heavy which is beautiful so just gonna clear out these ads guys the, these ads do not stop spawning on top of you as a matter of fact you might want to go ahead and grab some solar resistance because those are some solar enemies so we're gonna use our super and there is a void surge lasting all season so that is also going to do some huge damage. You can see the boss only has like 10% of his HP left. So at this point in time, we could just run up, go ahead and, uh, you know, force a finisher there. I mean, you can't finish a boss, but just force the rest of the damage, I mean, and grab the chest. But we, we played a little bit safe, and we cleared it very, very easily, guys. Good, good farm today. Again, I do recommend those arc builds for any of the three classes for the best clears. Hopefully this helped. If it did, be sure to subscribe as I post Lost Sector guides daily. I have a goal of hitting 10,000 subscribers by the end of the summer, and if everyone watching this subscribed, we could hit it in a week, which would be crazy. Either way, thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow for the next video. Peace.